Those projects are almost always described as short-term pain for long-term gain. Projects done in segments can cause that pain to last a little bit longer. Producer Roger Hamer looks at a road project along Q Street that has business owners hoping the long-term game doesn't come at their expense. As construction crews continue working on the Warhorse Casino near 65th and Q, city crews are also gearing up. Monday, they closed an often used east-west cut through for drivers between 60th and 72nd streets. Some are finding out too late that their shortcut will be blocked for several months. The construction that's going on out on uh, between 60th and 72nd on Q, that's all the tax increment financing project. So they're putting in new box culverts, they're widening the road, they're putting in turning lanes. Simulcasting at Horseman's Park is still going on, but it's a winding, muddy road for gamblers to get to this temporary facility. In the few months it's been open, we're up 30% from what we were when it was shut down. Brad Moran is co-owner of T's Auto and Truck Sales at 60th and Q. He says the city is gambling with his business. They're taking away the, you know, two, three of the best six months in the car business, no doubt about it. Moran says recent construction at 60th Street was a nightmare for his business. Nobody I've talked to seems to be very happy about it. Um, seems that a lot of the feedback has been that we came in with some original plans to be pretty helpful and change the area. And since we looks like we dropped a little concrete kind of and left a mess and have not been back until now, we came back just to shut the road down again. Mark Ordway owns Milt's Golf right across the street from the casino. He wants people to know his business is open despite city signage saying Q Street is closed at 60th Street, the only way into his business during the multi-month roads project. It resulted in him putting up his own signs. Last fall, uh, they closed 60th, from 60th down to our place was completely closed because they're widening the street and now they're going the other way and they're closing from 72nd to here. So I'm just happy that the Hawkins is leaving us access to our driveway, which is very helpful because a lot of people, I think, are under the assumption that we're closed. Back at T's, Brent Moran is sure how this will all play out. Bad deal for all of us, I think, at the end of the day. On your side, near 65th and Q, Roger Hamer, WOWT 6 News. Access to Horseman's Park and businesses to the west are limited from 72nd Street only. Those who live and work east of Milt's Golf will only have access from 60th Street. And while the entire street isn't shut down, a city engineer tells us there will be lane restrictions on other sections of Q Street between 60th and 72nd, but will not result in closures.